Two months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel, determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I am going to do in this episode. So welcome to the 37th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Kanjali next, coming in at $2,895,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting at $1,799,000. So we need to make right around a million dollars in order to purchase this Kanjali next. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go to our nightclub and collect the nightclub wall safe. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our maxed out acid lab. So I'm going to have to sell off my maxed out acid lab. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to... Do okay, we're free to do whatever we want, but it is determined by blank in 10 minutes. Now, if you've been watching this series, this wheel spin has always been with melee kills, but a lot of people commented that they want this to be mixed up instead of, you know, just me going around with melee kills every time. So I have created a wheel with different methods for me to get kills and whatever method it lands on, we're going to have to do that. All right. So here's the wheel, which I've called the free to do whatever wheel, but it's going to be determined by how many kills off of whatever method is on this wheel. And on our wheel spin, it said in 10 minutes, um, that's honestly not true with this new update to how I want to do this. But let's spin the wheel and let's see how we are going to have to get kills and let's see how long we have to get those kills. And we are going to have to only use snipers and we have seven minutes of time. Okay. But we get to do whatever we want, but it is determined by sniper kills in only seven minutes. And then I have to go sell off my acid lap. But first, let's head over to my nightclub and collect our nightclub wall safe. All right, so I've made it over to my nightclub, and as you can see in the bottom right, our wall safe value is at $189,000. So yeah, I did a lot better this time around of keeping my popularity pretty high. Still not maxed out, but you know, pretty close to just under 80%. But yeah, let's just collect that cash, and there we go. Just an easy $189,000 in my bank account now. So now I'm currently sitting at $1,989,000. But now it's time for me to join Join a public session and try to get as many sniper kills in only seven minutes. So let's jump into that. All right, so now I'm in a new session and it's time for us to get as many sniper kills as possible in a span of seven minutes. So how this is going to work is we are going to start out with 20 minutes to do whatever we want in GTA Online, but then every sniper kill that I get is going to be an additional 10 minutes. So let's just say I get zero kills, then we only have 20 minutes to do whatever. But let's just say I get four kills kills, then we have 60 minutes to do whatever, because then we'll have 40 minutes additional because we'll get four kills and that's 10 minutes per kill. And then that's added upon the 20 minutes that we just start out with. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. But I see people right here. I'm trying to like introduce this, but there's people literally just walking right next to me, but I don't know. Dude, he seems friendly, but I kind of need to get kills. <laughs> but anyways, I have seven minutes on the clock. So the timer is going to start now. All right, clock is running. Um, I feel so bad. I just have to get this guy. Dude, Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit of the issue with the sniper. Okay, I kind of hesitate a little bit there too because I do have a rule where I'm not going to get kills on people that are AFK. And I didn't know if he just like weirdly went AFK for a second, which clearly he did. Bro, there's a guy over here on an oppressor. Bro, why are you on an oppressor? Can you please do something so I can get an easy kill? That'd be so nice. AFK people, I swear. But there's some people over here. Hold on. There's actually some people that are like right in here. I don't know what these guys are doing, but there's people around. Like, wh what are these people doing? Oh, that guy. Oh. I was trying to explode me. Okay, well, that was an easy kill. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the reason I put only seven minutes on this is because, you know, we're very limited on what we can do. But um, at the same time, we can rack up some kills pretty quickly once, you know, we do find someone. And there's someone over here. Can Ah, oh, I see. God, I love the heavy snipers so much. That's two. Oh, wait, there's some guy coming down here. Are you moving? Okay, you are moving. Oh, good shot. 
Oh, he's Paul. Uh, mm, whatever. That's my third kill. Okay. Yeah, see, we can get killed so quickly like this. I don't know if I want to just keep picking on this guy, to be honest. <laughs> like, clearly, it doesn't seem like he's that great. Um, There's a person right here. Bro, what is this guy doing? Dude, this guy wants me to get in his G-Wagon. I'm going to rip him out. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> that is so sad. No, I was going to rip him out, and I was going to just snipe him point blank. <laughs> No. All right, all right, hold on. Here, let me in, let me in, let me in, please. Yeah, 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 let me in, let me in, <laughs> let me in. No, no, dude, dude, let me in, let me in. Dude, now you can, oh, you actually did get me. Okay, see, so very limited on how I can get kills. Pretty much any other gun, I could probably get a kill there, but sniper point blank, I have to be ultra accurate and quick. This guy's over here. There we go. <laughs> Not much to say there, just, well, bam. Oh my God, there's a guy coming after me. I hit him. No, 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 no. He's like doing donuts in front of me. That hit his door. That's so annoying. I can't hit a shot. I can't hit a shot. Okay, this is just embarrassing at this point. This guy's going to try to run me over. Fail. Okay, there we go. That's five kills. Jeez. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with the guy that's um doing donuts. The guy's not causing harm to anyone. Bro, how much time do I have left? It just got really intense really quick. This guy's just getting back into a freaking car. No, he's running away. Wait, where is he going? He's stuck. He's stuck behind a tree. Oh, 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 oh. He was shooting out of the tree or out of his car. Yeah, out of the tree. Shoot out the tree. Okay, Um, we have like four seconds left. Yeah, I'm just stopping the timer right here. We have no more time to get any more kills. All right, so let's head back into a public session and regather ourselves. All right, so in total, I think we got five kills. It got very, like, intense at the end. I'm pretty sure we got five kills. So that's a total of 50 extra minutes added on top of the 20 minutes that we started out with. So in total, we have 70 minutes to do whatever we want in GTA Online to make money. Okay, so I actually say free to do whatever we want, but I do have some limitations. One limitation is not going to affect us right now. Um, I can't do the Kaio Perico Heist. Then, well, I can't do the Kaio Perico Heist because I don't have a Kasaka yet. But also, I can't sell any of my businesses or collect any wall saves because all the product that we did gain did not come within the 70 minutes that I'm about to do. So for this, I'm counting it as invalid, but everything else in the game is valid to do. Do. All right, so right now I have 70 minutes on the clock or an hour in 10 minutes, and we only have this amount of time to try to make as much money as possible doing whatever I want. So the clock is going to start as soon as I get into this dune loader so I can sell off excess weapon parts. So we're going to start the timer right now. All right, clock is running. All right, here we go. An hour in 10 minutes. All right, so my goal right now is to sell off the excess weapon parts pretty quickly and then do a fully ins job because both of those pay out like $50,000 and they have a cooldown of 48 minutes a piece. The goal is to do these two things and then hopefully at the end of this hour and 10 minutes, we can come back and do it again. Okay, okay, this is a ridiculous. Yeah, just stupid. Okay, thanks guys. This is wasting time. This should really take me only two minutes. And why am I spawn on the beach? No, why do I want to go to the beach in the rain? It, like, it makes no sense. I still need a vehicle to get up. The oh my gosh. Terrible. Something that should take two minutes is going to take us like four. <laughs> that doesn't sound that bad when you say it out loud, but trust me, it's bad. All right, so we've made it over to the ammunition right here. So here's your weapon parts. Sorry, a little bit of a delay. I got killed on the way, but whatever. All right, there you go. Casual 50K in the bank. So now it's time for me to call up Dax so we can start up a full against job. Yeah, I've taken full against jobs all the wheel of making money but i decided i'm still gonna do it when i'm free to do whatever but anyways we got liquidized assets which is probably one of the easier ones to do which is nice but i gotta go all the way back to the city all right so we've made it inside of here this is a grass farm so we need to take out all these people there's some annoying guards in here you probably already know if you watch me like that guy yeah that guy with an assault shotgun jeez i want an assault shotgun so bad but not nah, all these people have them all right there we go i've killed everyone in here so now we need to go over here and contaminate the water so Supply. And then we go over here and turn on the irrigation system. And then, yeah, we are poisoning the grass right now. And um, I'm forced to walk through it. Thank you, Dax, for forcing me to walk through it. Now we're seeing pretty colors because, well, Dax forced us to walk right through it. Thank you. All right, where's a... Oh, that's a clown. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go over here. A ladder. I want to climb up and kind of just chill out on a roof. And then, yeah, I can pretty much just wait for this to end and we should be good to go I'll just eat some snacks while i'm up here 
Alright, so we're finally waking up from the hallucination. And there we go, mission passed. It's another 50k in my pocket. So yeah, we have to wait another 48 minutes to do that again. But what I want to do right now is I want to call in the hateful Arbiter GT. And pretty much we are going to do the time trials right now. Yeah, I'm filming this on Wednesday. And tomorrow the time trials are going to reset. And usually I don't like to do them just in case if I get a wheel spin of time trials but the time trials are going to reset tomorrow anyways. We're good to go. And I do think the HSW time trial that I'm about to do is the one over here at Sandy Shores. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. This one is so much better than the one we did last time. The one we did last time, the worst one in my opinion. All right, here we go. Here is the HSW time trial. So yeah, let's get it going. Um, Hopefully I remember exactly where to go. I'm going to wing it. Yeah, I've done this one so many times. I feel like I should know exactly where I'm going but ah, who knows remember the ending is like underneath an interstate or something like that it's like underneath the interstate kind of close to the airport and oh good we're spinning out that's fantastic oh uh, let's just keep going there's a lot of room for error i feel like with this one. Oh yeah no it's fine it's fine arbiter gt you're doing great you're doing great just spin the wheels and yeah just keep going just keep going see on those other hsw time trials like that wreck right there would have just costed us i mean it still might cost us but i mean it's probably going to be with the addition of another wreck or something like that and luckily, I'm on the interstate, so I can swerve a little bit easier. And the thing with this vehicle is that it does not want to, you know, make very small adjustments. Like, swerving in and out of traffic like that. Yeah. Swerving in and out of traffic is not fun. Oh, gosh. Oh, we need to complete this in a minute. Honestly, not looking fantastic right now. But, I don't know, maybe I can pull a little Dr. Clutch moment. I think we're all dying for it. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say we're all dying for a Dr. Clutch moment. Probably ruined. Okay, yeah. I'm just being stupid right now. Last time trial I did, I blamed a lot of it on the vehicle. That failure right there was all on me. That wasn't great. All right, let's try this again. I put the waypoint down on the map. I don't think I made a wrong turn last time. I just want to see pretty much how fast we're going in relation to how far we have to go. All right, so we made it onto the interstate. It wasn't that bad, but yeah, we just need to floor it now. Oh my gosh. How am I not wrecking? Oh my Dude, I feel like I'm bare... There's a wreck. I honestly deserved a wreck, yeah. It's a little too close quarters for this vehicle, I swear. But I mean, hey, we're doing pretty well right now. If we can keep it clean the rest of the way, we should be able to complete this. Uh-oh, that wasn't good. Okay, let's just keep going, keep going. That didn't end the run. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. That wreck right there might have just costed me. 30, 31, yeah. That's so unfortunate. That last attempt right there, I'm blaming that one on the car. That one, it was just me in a constant fight with the car right at the end and just, nah, didn't pan out my way. All right, can we get onto the interstate cleanly? Get out of my way, car, 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 car. What is your point? What's your problem? What is your problem? Are you trying to get time in the video? I mean, like, I guess you got it, but I mean, you're an NPC. What are you going to do? How's that going to affect you? You're an NPC. You're just going to despawn. I'm not going to despawn. It's just not going to happen. You are. Freaking clowns, I swear, man. The traffic is so annoying once you get close to the casino. It's pretty consistent traffic, and it's not fun with the Arbiter GT. There was nowhere I could go there. Like, honestly, that's not that bad of a scenario. I just run right into the back of someone instead of, like, absolutely just spinning out. Our way through the city was a lot better that time. I can honestly kind of just chill out, I feel like. Just kind of control and yeah we are going to be able to easily complete it that time yeah that one's not a hard wait what's going on hold on there's a red dot on the map again it's fine here oh good another clown ha 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 excuse me i'm trying to do something you can die um you can die too i don't discriminate um clown 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 clown's getting closer <laughs> please reload clown clown and I just killed a clown. Wow, what a great time. We need to do the other two time trials. So let me lose the cops and then uh, let me get into the next time trial. I don't even know where it's at. That's the second slasher I've gotten today. Um, before I started recording, I got the clone one of me. Like, I don't know. I'm not even trying to get these slashers and they're coming after me, which is crazy because like last year, I tried to make a video about it and <laughs> only had one interaction, which, you know, for a video, it sucks. Hold on, hold on. This stuff's like, really happening. And there's a robber robbing the store right here as you can see a red dot on the map he's trying to run away little robber you're a clown also i'm just dealing with a bunch of clowns okay you have the same health as a clown too can you 
thank you. Okay, let me pick up this bag. Now I can return the cash or keep it and get more money. I'm gonna keep it and get more money. Well, that, that clock in the bottom right expires, I am going to start up the junk energy time trial. All right, so here we go. The junk energy time trial is at Ulta, so let's get into it. I feel like I've done this one a lot recently, so I should be able to complete this first attempt. If I don't complete it first attempt, it is an embarrassment. Oh, okay, so um, in the middle of this, I got fully paid for keeping that bag, but I got the cops on me. I have a two-star wanted level. All right, so I got $50,000 for that time trial, plus I got $25,000 for keeping the money from the store robber. But now I'm going to do the normal time trial. All right, so I've called in my body 801, and the time trial that I have to do is going to be the Vinewood Hills time trial. Uh, where's my destination? Oh, it's this one. Um, I think this one was kind of difficult, but... Um, I don't know. See how it goes. Can I complete this first attempt? I'm going to say no, I cannot complete this first attempt. Really loving the self-confidence right now. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. I have the cops on me too. I have like a one-star one in level because I jumped out of my helicopter. That's going to add to the fun, I guess. Don't wreck me, cop. Thanks. No. That sucked. That felt like that was such a good run. Then I failed. All right, let's try it again. All right, so I've been laser focused on this attempt, and we're pretty much out of the Vinewood Hills. Uh, we need to go over here and... Oh, jeez, I forgot. Okay, I got away with it, but um, yeah, I need to be on the other side of the guardrail, you know, the roadside. God, it became... Oh, guardrails, I swear. There's enough time to make it. I have a mile to go. I'm gonna keep going. I have like 40 seconds to complete this. I have like roughly a mile to go. And I think I can take shortcuts for this one too. Um, Maybe I... That was so not my fault. Oh, please, that was your fault. No, 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 no. That was so not my fault. That was clearly your fault. Written apology. No? Just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. Oh, wait, that was kind of dumb by me, too. That was really dumb by me, actually. Okay, <laughs> because I have to go all the way back to the time trial. Dang it. That's not my fault. I swear, it's not my fault. Lady was clearly speeding, and that's what caused the wreck. It wasn't me driving in her lane. Anyone that clearly saw it would be on my side, for sure. All right, I've made it back. Um, Yeah, let's try this again. Um, I have a wanted level again. Hold on. God dang it. The cops are, like, allergic to me or something, or I'm allergic to the cops i mean geez all right yeah now let's try this again okay honestly the first few runs of this that i've done i don't think this time trial is that bad to be honest i just need to do better no car 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. apology now got the apology letters that i need to get from like these cars that are driving around to like you know rock star for absolutely like screwing me over numerous amount of times i mean like it's getting a little ridiculous at this point how many apology letters i deserve a light pole yeah speaking of light pole <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i need to write an apology letter to myself that was terrible driving all right this run has been very clean oh my god i almost ran into a guard right as i started talking but yeah this run's been very clean i feel like if i keep this pace and you know i don't do anything stupid i should be able to complete this uh, i'm gonna stick to the road i know there's like a shortcut that i can take uh, i feel like i'm doing so well where i can just stick to the road and just be a little conservative here and i should be able to complete it no, 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 no. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. I've wrecked for far worse. It's not the car's fault. I can just spew some crap and, you know, we can have a laugh and say it's the car's fault. No, I don't want to really say that's my fault either, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe that is my fault. <laughs> what am I saying? How about let's just complete it right here. Let's just move on. All right, so we're getting really close. It's been, once again, another smooth run, but it was this turn right here. There's no car. Well, actually, it's literally the same car. It's literally the same car that spawned. And then, yeah, mm, interesting rock star. Very interesting, but ain't gonna stop me this time. There we go, part time beaten. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna head over to the casino and spin the diamond casino wheel. So let's go and do that. All right, so I'm back at the diamond casino, and here's the lucky wheel. So we need to spin this thing. All right, what are we gonna get? Are we gonna get Jesus? That was the worst spin I've ever seen. That was so bad. Wait, wait, wait. Can you land on vehicle? Land on. <sighs> Are we really going to get clothing? No, we're not. We're going to get RP. Okay, wow. That went from, like, vehicle, ooh, to a lot of money, to clothing, to RP. Yeah, I came here just for RP. All right, well, we're just going to get the consolation prize. We're going to the visitor's bonus, and then, yeah, pretty much getting $1,000 for the visitor's bonus. So, whoop de doo That did nothing, pretty much. All right, what a waste of time. All right, so I've made it over to G's Cash. So, yeah, let's try to find G's Cash in a very quick manner. I think after I do this, I'm going to try to do an LSA operation mission oh 
oh, oh, I saw it. Good thing I looked up there. Jeez, I was not expecting it to be right here. I don't even hear it. I don't know why. I, I can't hear it right now. But anyways, we got $16,970 plus ammo and snacks. But now it's time for me to call up my Avenger and see if I can do one LSA operation before I can do another full against job and selling off excess weapon parts. All right, so I'm in my Avenger. Let's go to operations terminal. Go to LSA operations. Um, Surgical strike seems to be the highest paying one. So yeah, let's do that it's for $68,000. Plus, hopefully we can get the operations bonus in a quick amount of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the one I like too. This is probably the best case scenario. I can easily do this in 10 minutes. How much time do I have left? I have 18 minutes left. Um, Yeah, I definitely feel like I can complete this in 10 minutes. Oh, smugglers right here. Got it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I usually just like to blow up the smuggler like so. All right, there we go. Phone has been collected and now we have to lose the cops, which I'm gonna have to call Lester again. Dude, Lester's been busy with as many times as I've had a wanted level. But there we go. Thank you for getting me out of trouble. All right, to hopefully make this a tad bit quicker, I'm gonna go collect the night shark, which I don't think it's too far away yet. It's not too far away at all. So we can get some disguises and quickly get in there. All right, there we go. We've made it to the night shark. So let's get the night shark and let's go to the base. All right, so Charlie told me my operations bonus was to find some artifact or whatever, which this is the one that uh, we kind of had glitch out on us last time, which is not great. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's locate the shipments and try to find this artifact. All right, here's the artifact right here. Now, let's not get stuck in an endless walk thing, whatever. That's what happened last time. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's recover the artifact. Okay, well, that was easy that time. Why did it glitch out on us last time I did this? So there we go. Three tracers have been placed, so we need to leave the base. All right, there we go. We've gotten far enough away. Now we need to call in the airstrike, so let's do that. All right, so here's an Alkanos flying over and ready to cause havoc on this entire base. Uh, and watch this beautiful thing happen. Oh my God, dude, that is just amazing. It's just such a beautiful thing to watch. But now we need to steal the Menacer. Uh, hello, where's the Menacer? I don't see it on the map. Oh, it's right here, right in front of us. Oh, that was easy enough. <laughs> it's just only the Menacer too. There's usually like a little convoy. Oh, the convoy just didn't spawn in with it. I think I got a little lucky there. Wow. Maybe that was like a little bit of like a, hey, hey, we apologize for what happened last time you did this, which thanks, but still shouldn't happen in the first place, but whatever. It's fine. I'll, I'll take it here. All right. And we made it to the LSA lockup. That base wasn't that far away from here, so... That was nice. And boom, there we go. $80,500. All right, so now I'm going to go to another session so we can spawn directly at our bunker so we can sell off excess weapon parts again. All right, so let's get back in the dude loader and let's do this again. I might go out on a limb here and say this is probably the easiest way to make money just in general. Like, this is so easy. All you have to do is quite literally just drive and you just get $50,000. This is fantastic to make money. That's why I'm doing this before doing a full against job because like for a full against job you actually kind of have to do work all right and we've made it to this amy nation and there we go another easy fifty thousand dollars so i'm gonna quickly call up dax and i'm gonna see if i can do one more full against job i have seven minutes and 30 seconds to do it um it's going to be close in my opinion it's going to be depending on whatever one we get uh it's working remotely um i don't think working remotely is too bad i don't know what location it is though if it's the far away one or the one we have to go to Polito Bay. That might not be good. It might honestly be that one. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, never mind. This is a good one. We should be able to complete this then. All right, so we made it over to the Go Postal Depot. Um, yeah, We need to get one of these Go Postal vans. What's your problem? Oh, 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 what's my problem? Dude, why can't I shoot this guy? Oh, you're pissing me off. The clock is running. I don't care. Don't ever talk to me like that. Okay, let me get out of here before my van just blows up. Dude, whoa. My van's weirdly on fire. My van is weirdly on fire. So, so what happened there was, um, obviously, I threw a Molotov cocktail on the guy, and he caught on fire, obviously, but then I caught on fire, then I got into the van, and then the van caught on fire, but caught on fire in a very weird way. It's not like a normal way a vehicle gets caught on fire. I don't know. That was weird. Very interesting, but luckily, we didn't fail the mission, because I think this is a pretty easy mission, but yeah, let's just go in here and put a remote bomb on this. All right, so now we need to go to the Vagos hideout, and while I'm driving over to the Vagos hideout, I just want to say that I have recently launched 
a membership that viewers are able to join. And with this membership, I'll put polls for some feedback on my different videos. Um, you can even get some custom emojis that I've personally created. And also, I have some ideas to do some videos in the future with subscribers. And I'm most likely going to pick people that are in my membership to play with. So yeah, maybe check out the membership. But anyways, I'm here at the Vagos hideout. Dude, I'm here at the Vagos. Okay, come on, guy. Let me in. There's such a weird hideout. There's a guy like on a balcony. Interesting. And there's a freaking car like in the way of where I need to drive, kind of. Like interesting parking. But anyways, we need to park beside the gas tank. So ta-da, there we go. And now I need to sneak away. We need to sneak out of here. Um, Sneaking out of here is kind of interesting because the guy in the green shirt right there um, is kind of annoying. Okay, yeah. Once that guy moves, it's not bad. I just need to jump over here and then run this way. Hook this guard rail. And yeah, we should be good to go. All right, so we're going to look back and we're going to detonate the remote bomb. So click the detonate bomb button and we'll bam. What a beautiful sight. And now we just need to lose the cops and we should be good to go. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. I have like 50 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Um, we need to get into the buzzard and get out of here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's unacceptable. I don't care. Dude, I might have to do a ghost organization. Oh yeah. Like I know you're probably saying like, oh, you could go over the time. When we do this, like the free to do whatever, Um, I'm considering the clock like a hard cutoff. How much time? Um, we have 20 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna... <gasps> oh, no, it's unavailable. What if I big brain... What if I die? I like, because... I don't know, man. Let's just die. It's probably not gonna work. Okay, the timer went off. Um, dude, that's so unfortunate. I know you're probably saying you can keep the $50,000 or whatever. No, I'm not. It's a hard cutoff. We didn't lose the cops in the amount of time. Therefore, we didn't complete this in its entirety. So yeah, I'm just going to go back to an invite-only session. Man, that's unfortunate though. All right, so in those 70 minutes, we made $677,000. So now we're currently sitting at $2,648,000. But now it's time to sell off our maxed out acid lab so let's go do that all right so i'm at my acid lab and as you can see in the bottom right our product is maxed out with a value of four hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars and currently right now i'm in a session with 24 players so it's going to be right around a 50 percent bonus on whatever i do sell in this mission so yeah let's just head over here and oh maybe not there that's sourcing supplies yeah let's go over here and let's sell off our product so here we go all right so i have to take my product to the drop off and oh okay this is another one that it kind of looks like we have like a bunch of newspapers oh, okay 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 got it last time i did from way downtown um maybe we try a quick little way downtown okay a little way downtown Okay, yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of relevant now because, like, the NBA season just started up. Like, as I'm recording this, um, I am driving right into a light pole. Or, no, it's not a light pole, idiot. What is that? Um, a power pole? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. I should know what that is. Anyways, as I'm recording this, the NBA season just started, like, I think two days ago or yesterday. It might have been yesterday. I think it was yesterday, yeah. It was yesterday. And, um, geez, okay, well, I'm not doing great showcasing my skills to be a professional, like, motorcycle cycle driver i don't know maybe i could showcase my skills to be an nba player you know just be the steph curry from way downtown all right we have to get this one from way down i've talked a big game now the nba scouts are watching oh geez okay they weren't watching there i, I swear from way downtown okay that rimmed out um scouts understand that that should have gone in and that one too see scouts they understand like dude i'm making the smallest adjustment okay it's not possible from there at least okay um i have to slam it down all right there you go all right two down eight more to go um yeah i can get away with that right now because really no one's going after me and i, I don't really feel threatened um you know what? actually i want to focus up for like maybe the next few just in case someone does come after me and if no one has come after me at that point then i don't know I, I'll, I'll just sit there and try to hit it from way downtown but here's the next one right here why is it at the vinewood sign i mean isn't it illegal to get up here kind of interesting but there we go let's go to the next one all right we made it to our next location show the nba scouts my versatility oh my gosh okay they didn't see that they didn't see that all right there you go they saw that yeah I, you know I, i'm sending in the tapes i'll cut out the misses and i'll just only show my makes all right we've made it over to the fifth location which is going to be right there huh hello game 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 
okay this is what i'm talking about this is why i need a written apology i do mean written okay okay i was about to absolutely just destroy y'all then y'all just despawned it it was clearly in the bin and they said no nah, it's not in the bin it's quite embarrassing oh my gosh now you're really just trying to embarrass me now wow wow i'm not here for it oh my okay that one's on me that one's on me game but geez you know i guess the counter for that is hitting the shots from way downtown i'm gonna have to start doing more way downtown shots all right so i've made it to the next location um first things first can i throw it at this and uh that'll move the ball so i know this ball moves um negative okay so <laughs> that doesn't affect the big ball but i need to show oh wait hold on hold on hold on Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Why? 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 The scouts are watching me, man. Now they're going to think I am a bad influence or what? No. It's so disrespectful, man. Oh, my. Okay. I'm going to have to slam this one down. I wanted to do one from way downtown, but not. Nah. Some people have some have some things to say about it, unfortunately. Just take it. There you go. There's your little newspaper. Um, I have four more locations to go to. Hopefully, I can start needing some shots from way downtown and I get interrupted by a bunch of clowns. I already had to kill one slasher clown today oh wait i just realized back-to-back -back videos of slasher clowns cheese clowns all over the place all right, anyways i'm here at the next drop off where's the shot okay wait i can't see I, I gotta see where i'm shooting you know all right from way and i mean way downtown Oh, I was about to say, how did that not make it? Yeah, mm, just call me Dr. Curry, I swear. I'm not Dr. Crush anymore, I'm Dr. Curry. Bro, where's this next one? I know it's over here Some. What if I just hit it? Oh, I have to enter the area. Dang, that would have been so cool if I could hit it from all the way on top of that mountain. All right, how far back can I go? I want to see it. Literally, how far back can I go? All right, this is as far back as I can go. I can barely see this. Oh, someone won't let me throw it. What a scam. Oh, now let me throw it. Okay, okay, okay. That first shot didn't count. Okay, okay. All right, Dr. Curry inbound. I'm just telling you, man, the NBA scouts are glued to their devices right now. Just absolutely like jaws to the floor right now. And their jaws are even more to the floor because I'm absolutely calling them out on it too. Dude, I might have to quit this YouTube thing soon. I, I might be going to the league. Okay, okay. There's a guy kind of close to this. Oh, never mind. He disappeared. All right. I think there's a bunker over here. I think he went inside of his bunker. Um, I might do this one a little bit quicker. Where's the shot? Where's my shot? There's a plane that just flew over me too. So essentially, this is a challenge that the scouts probably called them themselves. They probably want to know, can I shoot under duress? Okay, I can't make the shot. I, I honestly can't make that shot. Hold on. Can I shoot under duress? <laughs> I just got blocked. Hold on. Probably as far away as I can make it. Bro, how did that? Oh, oh, that was okay. I made that one. All right, so I have one more to go. The scouts are still heavily impressed. There's a guy right behind me in an oppressor. I have to keep an eye out. Don't go after me. Okay, okay. Now, the NBA scouts are now trying to test out my quickness, see how quickly I can do this. And well, watch this. Ready, set, bam. There you go, NBA scouts. Ta da. Yeah, the guy's still kind of behind me. I don't know. So we should have to leave the area. That's 10 out of 10. We should be good to go. Um, Yeah, I'm going to the league. That's pretty much what that confirmed. Um, hey, guy. Oh, thank you. I needed you to break the fence. I really appreciated it. <laughs> the guy was friendly. People in normal oppressors are all right. And there we go. We sold off everything for $698,000 and an NBA contract. So now I'm sitting at $3,346,000, which is well over what we need to purchase the Kanjali. So let's head over to Warstock Cash and Carry and purchase the Kanjali. All right. So here's the Kanjali right here for $2,800,000. $95,000. So yeah, let's purchase it now. And there we go. It's going to be delivered to my facility, which is going to be interesting. Um, I've never bought a Kanjali before, to be honest. So this is going to be fun. So here is my tank right here. My beautiful new Kanjali. And this thing is a beast. Oh yeah, we can access the facility vehicle workshop. Very nice. All right. Um, I have $451,000 to play with. So we need to go straight for the primary weapon. Yeah. The railgun cannon for $300,000. Um, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Is it actually worth it? Because at least when we do the finale for Act 3, I honestly don't feel like the railgun cannon is even that worth it. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get it. I don't care. All the secondary weapons. Oh, I don't need a remote grenade launcher, to be honest. Turbo. <laughs> 
Oh my god, we don't need this thing to go fast. What liveries can we put on it? Okay, a bunch of camos. It's just pretty much all camos. All right, so I decided to make it all ice white. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Well, should I put some camo on it? I don't know, man. I mean, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it all white. I'm gonna keep it all white. And honestly, I we really don't need any of these other weapons. I mean, this secondary weapon, I'm gonna need like another person in here, which I mean, honestly, I don't plan on anyone else being in this tank. Um, and we can put proximity mines on it, but like, do we really? I mean we can make it like a tad bit faster but we're not trying to street race out here um yeah, maybe i'll put some armor i'll put the 80 percent armor that's as much as i can get right now sure i'll get that but i think that's pretty much it as far as what i want to do with this kajali dude this thing looks fresh man this thing looks so good but there is our new kajali we are going to add it to the wheel the free to do whatever wheel for future episodes down the line and then in next episode we're going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business I'm gonna have to buy next. Make sure you check out this video right here if you wanna see how to make your first $1 million as a level one in GTA Online.